Hello, Michael here from Small Robot Studio with another RenderMan 24 tutorial. Today, we are going to be creating some random textures for the set of books that I've got here, which obviously currently do not have any materials. So what we're gonna to do to start off with is select our books that we wanna have materials on, and we're gonna give them the same material. So just with them selected, create the Pixar Surface button there, and we will open up the Hypershade Editor and we'll have our um, material here, which we are going to now rename to book underscore mat. So there's a number of ways that you can do this, and I'm going to go through from the most basic way to some more complex possible ways that you could do it, depending on what you're working with. If you're doing something simple and you just need textures, what we can do is just create a ramp and create a random color based on that. So we'll start off with a PXR ramp. So tab, type in PXR ramp, we'll run the result RGB into the diffuse color. And then we need to set some colors for our books to be. So on the right hand side here, we've got the ramp and we just need to input some colors. So I'm going to click on the ramp and just select several colors. Okay, so you can see I've got half a dozen colors there. I'm gonna change the interpolation to be a constant because if it is a catmull or a linear or anything like that, you'll get colors, the intermediary colors, the gradient colors between the primary colors that you've got selected. So a constant will give you any one of these specific colors. If you do want the gradients, then you obviously keep it at um, one of those interpolations other than constant. Then we need to say, uh, set the ramp type to random co object color. And the random source can be the object ID. Um, you could change it to the uh, object name if you want. Uh, in this case, it's not really gonna make a difference. Uh, and then the random seed will change the uh, randomness. If I just use the uh, IPR in the viewport here, uh, you can see that we've got some randomness happening. I'll close this UV toolkit. And uh, we'll jump into the attribute editor here. So this is the ramp here. And we can change the random C to say 2, 4, 10, 55,000. It doesn't really matter. It's just a random C. Um, so if you don't quite like the one that you start with, try a couple of different numbers and you might get something you like. And just so you know, this is what it looks like if you do use the blending, uh, the interpolation. So that's the simplest way to do it. Um, now, if you're wanting something a little bit more complex, like you've got a texture already created um, for your book, so maybe you've got five or six different textures created, there is a way to do that. So I have created a very simple texture or a simple number of textures. I'll just connect to this for the moment. And I'm gonna run those into this um, one material and generate a random assortment of um, books. And hey, make sure you're subscribed with notifications on, otherwise you may be missing out on the many tutorials that we're releasing for free each week here on YouTube. So we're going to use a random uh, PXR random texture manifold, and we're going to run that into a PXR multi texture. So the result multi goes into the manifold multi, and then the result RGB goes into the diffuse color and we're going to go to the multi texture i'm going to open up here our um, textures so you can see it's just a black and white texture and i did that for a specific reason which we'll get to momentarily but obviously if you've got um, more interesting textures uh, your your books will look a little bit more interesting than mine to start with um, but bear with me there is a reason for this so if I go back to the Pixar random texture, just make sure I set it to the number of textures that I have, which is four, uh, five. Sorry, uh, it starts from zero. It counts like any computer does, starting from zero. So there is five textures. Um, zero, one, two, three, four, that is five. So if we hit the IPR button here, it will probably take a second to quickly convert those textures. And then you'll see that for some reason they're upside down and we can repair this very easily. So we'll go back into this manifold here and we'll just change the uh, angle to be 180 degrees and that should fix it. And they're mirrored, so we can still fix this. Uh, we will change the, what is that gonna be? The scale S, we'll set it to negative one. There you go. So you can see the um, books all have uh, different numbers. Um, some of them have this. One is a very popular version of this encyclopedia, but you can see you got one, two, four, and we can change the uh, randomness by using the 
extra seed here. So we'll just change the seed. There you go. So we've got five, one, one, five, four, three. So two um, is a little bit more rare in this case. So these are just black and white, but if you did make a more exciting texture, obviously that would be a little bit nicer, uh, but you can see it works very nicely like this. Um, however, since we've got this ramp here, we can improve this just slightly. This is one very simple way of doing it. We can create a PXR blend and we'll blend the Pixar ramp into the bottom and we'll run the result RGB into the top and run that result RGB into the diffuse color. So we've got the ramp and we've got the textures and we're gonna multiply them. You can do any blending mode that you wish. I'm gonna use multiply though. All right, so you see you've got the colors there from before, which is great. All right, so this is fine, but um, you'll note that my textures were black and white and I did that for a reason. It's because I want to use those not just as a um, texture, I could use them as other things like a mask or a ramp. So why don't we jump back into the Hypershade editor and the first thing we'll do is we'll just connect this up to a bump input. So the result RGBR, because this is black and white, the RG and B channels are all the same, so this is fine, into the input bump and then the result in into the bump normal. Let's hit two, one, two, three. We'll expand and contract those nodes there if you didn't know. All right, so we should be seeing a little bit of bump here. A little bit difficult to see on this render. I'm just gonna set all the colors to be the same so we don't have that multiply happening. Just for this, I'm gonna add some specularity just so it's a little bit easier to see the bump so you can see it's actually happening. Just in case you didn't believe me. So yeah, now you can see. It's bumping, it's actually bumping inverted though. The black areas are coming out, which I do not want. I want the opposite happening. Uh, I believe that's what's happening. It's a little bit hard to tell in this render. We'll check that in a little bit. There we go, we've got that as a bump map, that's fine. Um, it is, as you will notice, um, the obviously the same, because we're using that same multi-texture, um, it is gonna be using the same map. If you have textures and you've got bump maps two separate ones um, as long as you plug them into um, the same file name input you could use a second multi-texture input for your bumps use the same random texture manifold and use the same source and uh, extra seed and those bumps and those textures will line up so you don't have to worry about that so with that specularity there actually that should work a little bit better yep so you can see the bumps working now um, but because this is black and white, we can actually use this as a mask, which is what I want to do. So we are going to delete all of this. We don't need any of that or uh, we'll leave those there. All right. So we're going to select all our books again and we're going to right click on the pixel uh, surface and we're going to create a layer surface. And I'll just quickly clean this up. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'll run the bump into the bump normal input of the first layer. And then I'll also run the result RGB into the layer one mask. So that output from the multi texture is going into both the bump and the layer one mask. And for layer one, uh, we are going to set this to be, just so it's very visible, I'm going to set this to be yellow. And for layer two, I'm going to set this to be red. So then when we IPR that, you can see that now the text is yellow uh, and the rest of the book is red. So because I'm using a layer surface, I can change the different pieces to be different materials or have different material uh, descriptions. So we could make the, we'll make this say more gold colored. Mm, roughness of 0.2 should be fine. That edge color needs to be the one I selected. And then the book will make it slightly less gaudy, um, more of a burgundy color. And actually, why don't we add some fuzz to it so it looks like it's got that sort of felty look, which I feel like I've seen a book have before. Okay, so, and actually the um, specularity, I need to make sure that it is enabled. And the gain is set all the way to one. All right, so that looks pretty good. Um, at the moment, 
um, I could actually instead of having that bump going uh, outward which I believe is the way it's going at the moment um, it's difficult to tell in this render I'm going to actually invert it so we can just use a PXR invert and run the result RGB into the input there and the result RGB out here and then that should look embossed and we should be pretty much done that bump is actually a little bit high I'm going to set it to 0 0.01 which is usually kind of where I set my bumps as a default that looks a bit better and um, if you want to blend it a little bit nicer I can actually see it's um, extruded not in, uh, embossed so that's fine this actually looks a little bit nicer we can just use a bit of surface normal mix um, to help blend that in and that should pretty much do it so you can see I've got a nice volume of or a nice collection of books here with different random textures assigned to them you can like I said uh, create discrete textures as much as you like this way and then randomly assign them if you've got uh, textures that have bump maps specific for each one if you use the same pick, uh, manifold for your random textures and the same um, random texture inputs so the same multi texture here the same random texture manifold just duplicate them and then plug in your new textures so either for your bump or for your texture uh, you know could be for your specularity map could be for your bump map could be for normal map whatever uh, if it is a normal map textures are normal maps you just need to uh, have that enabled and you'll be all good so that pretty much covers it um, I'll give this a uh, book to the patrons this month so you guys can use that um, it's all you read and ready to go create your own books and um, if you've got any questions as always leave them in the comments that's it for this tutorial if you found it useful make sure you leave a like so other people can find it and if you haven't already make sure you subscribe as we're bringing out cg and illustration tutorials every week just like this one become a patron and access tutorial assets bonus content a private discord and more by clicking the link below